Hey everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, today I was watching the ISS live feed video, as I always do, and I saw a contrail. Now, it was very sharp and distinctive, and it was over the sea just west of the island of Shakhalin, whatever it is, Russia, and it was heading west. So I quickly looked up the plane on Flight Radar 24, as you do, and there was only one, and it was in the right place, headed in the right direction too. So I'll call that a bit of a match. So that makes me happy to see a real-life validation of the liveness of the live stream from the ISS. Now I have a few more other ideas in the future, but I'm working on them. I know Avo thinks that the clouds are backfilled from meteorological data. Now I know that the ISS is only showing the contrail for about 40 seconds, and I reckon it does develop a little bit on the left. Maybe you can see the plane moving just a fraction. But remember, this plane is at almost 11,000 meters of up, and the ISS is observably way higher and moving much, much faster. Now, the other thing that I wanted to cover was something that I saw a while back. Now, I had a video that I saw came from the Chinese space station where the Taikonauts were doing an experiment with a water in a jar and a ping pong ball. Now, this image did the rounds of the disbelievers as they saw an open jar of water on a bench in the space station, and they wrongly thought that it was a production error. Here, let's have a look at some demonstrable reality, shall we? So I have a ping pong ball. I put it into the glass of water. Can you see that? The ping pong ball actually not really coming back to the surface, right? It's inside the water. So that's phenomenon quite different from what you have there on Earth. Because that buoyant force actually seems disappear because there's no gravity here. So we talk about that in the absence of a gravity, there seems like no the buoyancy. So that is why the ping pong ball cannot float back. So right now you know this is the buoyancy. And let me take this glass of water to Mr. Ye. I got you. Because of in the weightless environment, you can see that this is a quite amazing phenomenon here. And the Americans had to hustle to do their version too. Now, a few months later, this one showed up. They used a plastic bag with water, and I thought it cool seeing her spin it around to make the water all go to the bottom of the bag, so to speak. Then she pokes the ball into the water, and the ball stays inside the water. That is very cool. But what I did like was the last second or so where she moves the bag and by moving it she accelerates it and look what happens to the ball in the water in that brief second. As she drags the bag towards the lower part of the frame, the ball also pushes towards the lower part of the bag. So the acceleration is which way? Yeah, towards her feet. And the ball moves inside the bag in which direction? Also towards her feet. Now that is very, very cool and a little bit of buoyancy in that little second. Thanks, guys. Any flatties watching this? I think you maybe should have a Panadol and a lie down. Even left the little tags in the end there. Oh, I love it.
perfect. <laughs> 